All right, team, let's get started here. Uh, we're making our, our spike ball. We're gonna start here with our, you gotta start in the sketch. So we're gonna select our front plane. Then right here, we're gonna insert an image. We're gonna import an image and we're gonna import from the desktop. And here are the three images. And those are, should be uh, importing here. Uh, and there they are, so I can just go ahead and select one of these. I'm going to uh, exit out of those notifications, so I'll go with the body, and it's asking me to draw an image rectangle, so I'll draw that out. So from there, I'm going to start here with this dimension right here, and I'm going to dimension that to 3.2. 3.2 millimeters, right? And keeping that at 3.2 because the thickness material is three millimeters, so it's gonna have to be a little bit bigger than three, uh, allowing us uh, some room to be able to uh, slide that component in there. So I'm going to just make a center line. Oops, that was not a straight center line. And, and control Z. Both of those, uh, to make this one horizontal, I can just go ahead and click it, highlight it, make that horizontal. So <clears throat> I'm going to lock on here and start right here. And I'm going to use my spline tool. And I'm going to just add a lot of little points on here following this line. Um, And the more, the more points you add, the easier it's going to be to kind of manipulate or fix. I don't want to kind of lock onto there, but that's okay. I can go in. And once you're done with this line, we can actually go in and move some of the points around. I'll show you how to do that. So right here, I'm going to double click to end that line. Uh, get off of that spline tool, come in here where I have a little bit of an issue and I can grab these points and just kind of move them around to get them on that line that I'm looking for. You can kind of smooth, smooth some of this out here, move these up if you have one that's a little bit off. This one here, go. All right, that looks pretty, pretty good there. Here I'm gonna, I recommend just squaring this one off here. So instead of uh, trying to follow this, we're just going to modify this and square this off. Come in and make that cut there. And this should be right here at the, about the 3.2. Um, and then I'm gonna, I want it to be in line with that one there. And then I'm going to double click that there. So I can go back to my spline tool here, lock on, and whoops, and finish my, my line here. Double click to finish my line. So I have that. Now I'm going to use my mirror feature, select a mirror line. Right here, select my entities to mirror are going to be that these so that uh, will mirror over and I can accept that. Enter, highlight my sketch. I want to extrude that to a depth of three millimeters and accept that. And so there's my first part for my body. I'm gonna go in here and create another part studio. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. Um, select my sketch plane, insert my image, use that spike crown right here. I'll start with this line. Dimension that line to 3.2. And, and now all I need to do is sketch off of that line. 
and everything I'm going to do is going to drive off of that line. Okay, so I'm going to flatten this out a little to right here, which is perfect. Now, I'd, you'd want to go in and kind of clean this up a little bit more. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go in and make this perfect right now, but you could change all of this and kind of redo all this and clean this up and make this nice and symmetrical. So I would, if I wasn't doing this for the video purposes, I would go really clean that up a lot. But for the purposes of this video to try and keep it short, or shorter, I'm going to uh, just make these parts kind of quickly and then show you how we're going to to finish this. All right, so here's, we're gonna make our last one, sketching on the front plane, again, inserting our image, make this top of the spike, draw that image rectangle, Again, starting right here on, on this line here, dimensioning this to 3.2. And, oops. So, on this one here, come out. I'm going to use that mirror feature again on this one and just give myself a line for construction, lock it in at the center, and just put my line here. Again, going to go back to this spline tool, and um, oops, I don't want that on for construction. And I'm just going to work this spline tool here out and start curving that around, lots of little dots, make it easier. And I can move any of these, grab any of these points that I need to. I'm going to move this one here. Oops, I'm still on my spline tool. I don't want that. So I'm going to just go in and grab that one here. Kind of even that spline out right there. And this one right there. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go in here again to my mirror. Sorry, over here to my mirror feature. Select my mirror line. Select my mirror line, entities to be mirrored, select the rest of these, it's going to copy over, accept that, sketch, extrude, distance of three, and accept that. So, now I have my, my three things, now I need to put them in to a drawing. So I'm going to go ahead, create my drawing. And you can just accept this first one. And I gave you this, that image of how many you need to, uh, how many items you need to drop into your drawing. So you're going to want to make that look as real as possible. I'm going to start by deleting all this information off of here. And I'm going to <clears throat> insert my part one. Select that. It's going to come up to here. I want to make sure. I'm in a ratio of one to one. And I want, I'm gonna start here with my front view, drop that in. I'm gonna actually just click there. And if you do that, it will kind of lock on and I'm gonna drop a second one in there. So you're gonna insert all of these and then on this one, you are, can also change your orientation to the back view, and it will give us a this, this different view here. I can't put my first one here, but that's okay. I can drop that right there. 
You want to get in as close as you can without touching, right? So that laser um, can do that and we're not wasting a bunch of material. So you can drop that in. So you're going to get as many as you need here. And you're just going to keep working on that. Um, you can change your part here, sorry, by doing your insert and working with your part two. Again, one to one front. You can do all of these. On this one, you can When you're in here to highlight this, you can double click on it and rotate the angle 180 degrees, right? And accept that. And then you can move this and get that really, really close. Um, and then you, you're doing that for, the, for these parts. And then again, you're doing the last part here. and you're making another row of these. And then to, to switch that part to make it as close as possible, uh, you would do the same thing, insert, and you could, should be able to flip that to the back orientation and that part will flip around so that you can tuck those in relatively close to each other. So you are going to to recreate that to the Schoology, there's an image with all of these, and that's how you would, are going to do that. And when you're done with this drawing, um, you would export it as a PDF, last name, and go ahead and turn it in along with these other parts, and um, I can get that graded, start getting that cut for you.